15 of the richest women in the world. Number 15. Jocelyn Wildenstein, 2.5 billion. Jocelyn Wildenstein, better known as the Catwoman for her extensive plastic surgery to look more like a feline than a female, these cosmetic surgeries are said to have cost over 2 million. Although she comes from a wealthy family, she acquired most of her vast fortune from a divorce settlement from former husband Alec Wildenstein. Although reports on her actual net worth vary from source to source, she received 2.5 billion from her divorce settlement, one of the largest in history. In fact, her yearly food and wine expenditure alone reach over $500,000. Number 14. Katana Fitz James Stewart, 4.9 billion. Not only was Katana Fitz James Stewart the 18th Duchess of Alba, Spain, according to Guinness World Records, she was also the most titled noble in the world with about 50 royal titles. The Duchess was most recently remembered for her marriage at the age of 85 to the much younger Alfonso Diaz, who was 24 years her junior. However, Katana should perhaps be better remembered for her generous financial contributions to charity. Number 13. Sandra Ortega Mera, 6.4 billion. Also from Spain, Sandra Ortega Mera is not only the richest woman in Spain, but she is also the youngest billionaire in all of Europe. Mera is the youngest daughter and heiress of Spain, business magnate Amancio Ortega Gaona, currently the wealthiest man in Europe, who was the founder and chairman of Inditex Fashion Group. Mera inherited a 75% stake at Inditex when her mother passed in 2013. The company is famous for its chain of Zara clothing and accessories. Accessories. Number 12. Catherine Rayner, 7.1 billion. American billionaire heiress Catherine Rayner is the daughter of Anne Cox Chambers, the current head of media conglomerate Cox Prizes Inc. Rayner became the 15th richest woman in the world when her mother distributed 49% of Cox Enterprises Inc. shares to her and her siblings. Rayner, like several of the other billionaires featured on this list, is not involved with her family's company, but is heavily involved with philanthropy. Rayner currently holds a position as board member of the Morgan Library and Museum in New York. Rayner is also on the board of directors for the New York Public Library and the Animal Rescue Fund of the Hamptons. She also has a bit of a green thumb and has a sprawling, eclectic garden at her home that is worthy of a Disney film. Number 11. Margarita Louis Dreyfus, 8.7 billion. Margarita Louis Dreyfus, known as the Zarina by the French press, is the owner of global merchant company, the Louis Dreyfus Company. Her company is involved in international shipping, telecommunications, real estate, hedge funds, finance, agriculture, ocean vessels, food processing, and more. Interestingly, Margarita is the widow of Robert Louis Dreyfus, who was the cousins with American actress Julia Louis Dreyfus, famous for playing Elaine in the TV show Seinfeld. Also, Margarita is the mother of two sets of twins. She gave birth to her new twin girls earlier this year at age 53. Number 10. Massimiliana Landini Aliotti, 9.6 billion. The Italian billionaire heiress Massimiliana Landini Aliotti owns giant pharmaceutical company Menarini, along with her two children. The company is widely popular for being committed to researching pharmacological solutions for therapeutic areas such as asthma, anti infectives, oncology, inflammation, and cardiovascular diseases, among others. Although she has tried to spend as much time out of the limelight as possible, in 2010, she was accused of tax evasion. She, however, declined to comment publicly on the matter. Number 9. Blair Perry Okaden, 10.7 billion. Although she is Australia's richest person by net worth, Blair Perry Okaden is actually American born. Blair's grandfather, James M. Cox, once a governor of Ohio and U.S. representative, founded the communications and automotive company Cox Enterprises Inc. Although the media conglomerate is actually ran by Blair's aunt, Anne Cox Chambers, Blair still holds a large share of the company. Blair originally moved to Australia to be with her now ex husband, where they started a family. Blair is known to be a very generous person in her community, but is also very modest and private. Interestingly, she is also a bit of a wordsmith and has even had a children's book published. Number 8. 
Iris Fontbana, $10.8 billion. Iris Fontbana, widow of billionaire Andronico Luxic, is the richest woman in Chile. Her and her family controls Antofagasta, one of the largest copper mines in the world. The mining company's shares have almost tripled in the past year, a primary reason for Fontbana and her family's fortune increasing dramatically since 2010. Also holds a large number of shares in the beverage-making and consumer packaging corporation, Quineco, which is one of Chile's largest businesses business conglomerates with annual revenue of 20 billion. Number 7. Gina Reinhardt, 11.4 billion. Mining heiress Gina Reinhardt was Australia's first female billionaire. Reinhardt took over her father's mining company, Hancock Prospecting, at the young age of 21. At an early age, she surprised critics with her business savvy and has revolutionized the mining business during her career. Since 2010, Reinhardt has been actively involved with Australian politics and has been pushing for the further development of the Australian North. She has also been an outspoken advocate for the reduction of tax taxes, and less regulations on business. Perhaps her outspoken views on government issues has earned her unwanted threats because Reinhardt is known to travel around the world in a bulletproof vehicle. Number 6 Charlene de Carvalho Heineken, 13.1 billion. Charlene de Carvalho Heineken is a Dutch English businesswoman who is the executive director and owns 25% of the controlling interest of Heineken International, the third largest brewing company in the world. When her father, Freddie Heineken, died in 2002, she inherited nearly 3 billion, which made her the wealthiest person with shared Dutch citizenship. Number 5. Lorene Powell Jobs, $17.6 billion. Although Lorene is often thought of as only being the widow of revolutionary tech whiz Steve Jobs, like her husband, she has made quite an impact on the world through her philanthropy and charity work. Lorene is the founder and executive of Emerson Collective, a foundation focused on improving education and championing immigration reform, as well as environmental conservation and social justice. Lorene is also the president of the board of directors and co-founder of College Track, an organization that helps prepare low-income and disadvantaged high school students for college. Number 4 Maria Franca Fasolo, $23.7 billion. There clearly is great fortune to be had within candy manufacturing because Italian candy billionaire Maria Franca Fasolo ranks in as the world's fourth richest woman. Her company, Ferro Spa, is the second largest confectionery company in Europe and the third largest in the world. It is famous for such sweets and candies as Tic Tac Mints, Mon Cherie, Kinder Chocolates, and Nutella Chocolate Hazelnut Spread. Number 3 Jacqueline Mars, 27 billion. Jacqueline Mars continues the trend of amassing great wealth through her inheritance as she inherited one-third of the candy and pet food processing corporation Mars from her father Franklin Clarence Mars in 1999. Jacqueline does not actively participate in the running of her father's candy corporation and instead focuses her wealth and energies on the art industry. She is involved with the U.S. equestrian team as a trustee, which supports high-performance horses by providing funds for training, coaching, and traveling expenses for international events and shows. In October 2013, Jacqueline fell asleep at the wheel while driving, crossing the highway centerline and hit a minivan carrying six people, one of whom died and another who lost her unborn child. Jacqueline, 74 at the time, pled guilty to a misdemeanor count of reckless driving and was fined $2,500 and had her license suspended for six months. No civil suit was filed, but a spokesperson for Ms. Mars stated, Mars has provided assistance to the families involved since shortly after the accident. Number 2 Alice Walton, $33.5 billion. Alice Walton, the heiress of mega superstore chain Walmart, ranks in as the second richest woman in the world. Interestingly, however, she would have topped the list as richest woman in the world had her net worth not dropped over $7 billion last year due to the dramatic drop in Walmart stock. Alice Walton's life has been wrought with controversy. Besides being accused of not paying Walmart employees a livable wage, she has allegedly had a number of horrendous automobile incidents, from driving into a ravine driving while under the influence, and even striking and killing a pedestrian in 1989. Walton, however, has never faced any real consequences for any of these incidents. Number 1 
Lillian Betancourt, $38.9 billion. To put her wealth into perspective, Lillian Betancourt could spend a million dollars a day for 104 years before running out of money. She is the main shareholder of the French mega cosmetics company L'Oreal. The company was started by her father, French chemist Eugene Schuller, in 1909, and Betancourt began working for the company as an apprentice at the early age of 15. Lillian eventually inherited the company and was able to maintain a majority stake once the company went public. Reportedly, Betancourt was one of the biggest victims of Bernie Madoff's pyramid scheme and lost some 22 million euros. In 2011, she was placed under the guardianship of her family because of her declining mental health. Subscribe for more videos to come.